Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. We are here with another hair video. We are working with Genius Wigs, guys. They sent me their crystal lace this time. So it's basically like an HD lace, but it's 10 times better. Okay, so that's basically what I'm getting from it. And it's a 13 by 6.5 lace frontal wig, kinky straight, 20 inches, 150 density. Um, I'm showing you guys also the things that came with the wig and the purchase and let's just get into the video. So I know you guys seen the edges on this unit. It's like a kinky edge. I am living for the new edges that they started to bring out for wigs because I feel like it just definitely accompanies us as black people way better because it just looks more natural. So me doing her hair today, I was just like, this is so cute and it literally looks like your real hair. So y'all gonna see how good this looks once we install it. But watch when y'all see the end of this video. Like the end of result of this install was A1. And keep in mind y'all, we was at the shop until 10 p.m. recording this video, okay? So <laughs> here's all the products I'm using and here's the wig. So I did bleach the knots, y'all, but I did not pluck the wig. I just bleached it, and this is how it looked. It was pre-plucked, everything just ready to wear. So all I had to do was bleach the knots. So you're going to see me just putting the wig on her and fixing it to where I want it to lay. And we're going to go in and start laying the glue. So for my glue, I like to do four layers, but on the back of the bottle, it does say three so whatever is more better for you, you can do three or four. I just choose four because I've never had a complaint that the wig started to lift. So here we are laying the layers. And in between each layer, you want to make sure it dries completely clear so you can have a good foundation when you're laying the lace down. So you're going to see me starting to lay the lace. And you can see it's already melting. Like look how good this lace is. It's melting in her skin. So we're going to go in with some heat and melt that lace a little more. Then we're about to start the styling process. So what I like to do is before I cut the lace off, I like to map out what I'm going to do. So we're doing two braids. So I'm going to start off with the middle part just so I can have a guide of what I'm doing. It just helps me, you know, work better when I just map it out. So let's get into cutting this lace. I am using a eyebrow razor to cut it. So sorry that it's blurry right here, but the clip will get better after this one. I don't know. My camera was just not in focus on this clip and it sucks because I need this one. So we're just cutting off the lace and we're going to leave the edges how it is. First of all, we're not even doing nothing to the edges, y'all. We just cutting lace off and then I'm going to take some makeup and add it onto the lace so it can cover, you know, Whatever is not blended. And you see her makeup. Uh, the makeup is definitely blending in with her skin as well. Like you got to make sure everything just blends. Easy blend. Okay. So yeah, like I said, we are doing two braids. So I did tie down the front just to keep it out the way for the time being of the, you know, creating the style. So I don't braid up anything that's not supposed to be braided. And we're going to also do the two hanging pieces in the front because I feel like that's just going to be so, so, so cute. So that's what we're doing pre, you know, pre-parting. And then we're going to go in and add the braid. But before we move on to anything else, I did want to mention in this video that I am looking for models. So if you would like to become one of my models for a video, um, be sure to follow my hair page at Alexis J. I do post flyers weekly looking for models. And what I do is I charge a discounted rate for a wig and install. All you have to do is come in freshly groomed. Like if your eyebrows need to be taped up, tape them up. If you need to add lashes because you feel like you don't look right without lashes, add lashes. But I just ask if you just come in with your eyebrows fixed neatly and you don't have to even wear lipstick. Just put on a nice gloss 
um just to make sure you're not chat or anything and yeah we're gonna get this content so if you are interested in becoming a model follow my hair page to see what type of wigs I'm posting for the week and how much it is because y'all I'm telling you you get a deal it'd be so cheap for the hair in the install all I ask is that you let me record and have full creative control over your style because like I said I am starting hairstyles in all of my videos now so I do it you know require that you are open to having a hairstyle because that's just what I need like okay so like I said we did the two braids I love how the braids came out okay this wig is definitely one for the books like it really is because it looks so natural y'all and I'm just keep reverting back to the end of the video we're not even at the end of the video yet but y'all it just looks so good I can't make this up we didn't even sew the back down. Like, the wig fit so good. It just fit like a glove. So, all we did was use the comb. And now I'm going in with my even lace spray just to spray it before we tie her down and stick her under the dryer. And what I like to do is completely dry the hairline before I tie anything on it. Because it just makes the process of taking it off way easier. So, that's what you're going to see me doing. And I'm also going to add a little edge in the middle because... It just made sense to slick that part down. I didn't want it to be sticking up while I was, um, while she had those two pieces hanging. But I still kept the sides really natural, curly, coily. It's just really cute. It's really giving natural. Like, y'all, this looks like it's growing on her scalp. I'm not even going to lie to you. So, get into it. Like, yes. We're going in and just defining her part. I am using this, uh, black spray to touch up the part i'm not gonna spray the whole thing you're gonna see i just sprayed the back by the braids because that just um made sense i didn't want to overdo it and then be looking like damn i shouldn't have did that so now we're about to tie her down and put her under the dryer i did let her sit for 15 minutes and once we take her from under there y'all we will be silk pressing well not silk pressing we just passing the iron through it just to give it a um a real natural girl press like it really looked like natural girl hair blown out and pressed out and that's what I really loved about this look like it came out a one everything I wanted it to be it definitely was okay definitely was and I have nothing but good words for this company love the wig love the lace love the edges love everything so we're just going in with some moves I'm about to tie her down this is just what I like to do to get it extra extra flat it definitely works, so if you haven't tried this yet, try it. I'm telling you, it will definitely change the outcome of your work. It will just add an extra lateness to it. As you can see, it's so flat, okay? But yeah, so let's get into laying these pieces. I'm about to flat iron it. And each piece, I do spray a heat protectant, okay? Y'all, I just wanted to give a close-up on how good this lace looks. Like, look how it's just blending in with her skin. It don't even look like lace. It's really giving her real hair. Don't mind this side. We're about to comb it out. But this is how it looks once you take the band off. So once we comb it out, it's going to get back to normal. And it's going to look just so good. I have nothing but great words for this company. Like, y'all, I really love this wig. And she loved it too. Like, it's so, so, so cute. So we're just going in with the blow dryer and just blowing it out right quick. And then we're going to... uh straighten it and like i said i do add heat protectant to each strand each strand all right because heat protectant makes a big difference With the two braids, I'm just going to connect them at the back with a rubber band. And then I'm going to braid the two braids together. And what I'm going to do is like feather the braids out so it won't just be like a boring ponytail. You know, just boring. I should have added some of the hair. Now I'm looking at it, y'all. I should have added some of the hair to make it longer and bigger. But I didn't think that. But it's okay next time, you know. Like I said, I am looking for models. So if you are open to getting styles... And just doing whatever and getting the wig out the deal. 
hit your girl up. Make sure you follow my Instagram at Alexis J. Okay. And we're just adding the finishing touches onto her hair. We're flat ironing the two little pieces in the front. Like I said, it looks like natural girl hair pressed out. And I truly love this for us. I love how they're accommodating us more. I love how they're really paying attention to our hair texture and not trying to just make us be so, you know. <laughs> but I'm going to cut these pieces as well just so I can do the little bumps on the end. Because I just was like, that'll frame it more. That'll make it look more cute. So we're just cutting the ends and bumping it under. And y'all, this is the ending result. I sing when I'm happy. <laughs> but y'all, here's the ending result of her hair. Like, it looks amazing. Look how seamless it looks. Like I said, it looks so natural. The edges made it 10 times better, guys. Here's a few clips out of my phone so you can see it better. It looks so good, right? Make sure you tune into the description box for all of the information on this hair. And if you would like to become one of my model girls, follow my hair page at Alexis J. All of the details will be posted. I do post weekly. I love you guys. I'll see y'all in the next video. I also wanted to include her uh, TikTok in here, y'all. It was so pretty and love y'all. <laughs> so cute. Yeah.